to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna be going over a 2019 GMC Sierra Denali. What's up guys? So we're gonna do a review on a 2019 GMC Sierra. I haven't really done any really reviews on the channel other than my own stuff and uh, a few of my buddies' uh, trucks. Yeah, just Joe's and Matt's. This is a uh, 2019 GMC Sierra Denali and it's like a cool like burgundy red color. You know, I usually don't like these kind of colors, but I think it looks really good on this truck. Um, I will admit, right out of the gate, looking at this truck, I didn't like it when it first came out, and this truck is slowly growing on me more and more. I'm not 100% sold on them just yet, and I'm not 100% sold on the Chevys just yet. I do think the Sierras look better so far, and of course we haven't seen too many modified ones just yet. And then you got the 2500s coming out here shortly. You know, right out of the gate, the interior, I like it. I mean, I wouldn't say it's... A lot better than say like the previous generation interior maybe it's got a little bit more features I'm gonna kind of go over all that stuff as good as I can I haven't fully went over this just yet so we're gonna be kind of going with the flow here uh, first thing I'm noticing it's got USB chargers like looks like the USB C also it's got your standard like you know house outlet um, DC outlets the lane assist I think a lot of the newer trucks like Yukon and stuff like that have the lane assist it'll actually like pull you back in the lane It'll tell you you're swerving and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Um, my trucks, both of my trucks are way too old to have that kind of stuff. So, <laughs> as you guys see, the dash looks good. I wouldn't say it looks better than the previous generation, and I wouldn't say it looks worse. I think it looks good. It's it's looks very functional. Looks very easy to to use and pretty easy to learn. I would say. What's cool is this one's got the electronic tailgate, which some people may not like, some people may love. I don't know. It looks to me like they cater to a lot of older people on these trucks, the Denali's, and I don't know if the other models of these trucks offer the the power tailgates, or they probably all do, but the power steps and stuff like that, I'll show you that here in a second. You know, just at first glance, I would say the interior is very nice, everything's well placed, and uh, it's very comfy. And I guess we'll go for a little ride, let me close this. This is my, my dad's buddy's truck, he just got it, and uh, yeah, he was nice enough to let me do a review on it so I hope you guys enjoy these kind of videos uh, I'm not like a professional at reviewing things I just kind of want to give you guys my thoughts on it because it's been a controversial thing for the truck community I guess because a lot of people don't like these things right out of the gate the, you know the mirrors uh, seeing the mirrors in person on these trucks doesn't look that bad now I will say I think that the HD ones look really bad they look like a broken arm or something or like a big Jeep mirror or something like that I don't think these look that bad and they don't it's almost like they did it to you know avoid blind spots because they have like there's like no blind spots usually your mirror will actually block more than it actually helps but this one it seems to be placed nicely if I'm being honest as far as interior this one came with a safe it's got a safe right here and as you guys can see the center console here um, it's got forward cameras it's got a reverse camera, it's got all kinds of sensors. It's got like the the above camera where it shows you where you're at in the lanes and who's around you, stuff like that. It's kind of hard to figure out how that works, but um, it, it works. Of course, it's got heated AC seats in this one. I would definitely own one. Now, I'm not in the market for one. So far, I wouldn't just be like, nah, that's not for me. I will say I like the high country interior better than, than the Denali just because I like that brown leather and uh, a lot of people were asking me what my thoughts were on the new trucks and my answer to a lot of them was you know I, I don't really have too much of an opinion um, I think the the mirrors were definitely controversial I didn't really know what to say about them I didn't have anything else negative to say I thought like tail lights look good the headlights look good especially on the Sierra um, so that was my only complaint was that the mirrors you know and you guys may not like these trucks still even if you've been in one or you know seen one up close I'm not gonna hate on it I do think like I said this this Sierra is better looking than the Silverado but um, I guess we will see we'll see these, these trucks are so new I think a lot of people hate a lot of new stuff if it's drastically changed so I knew when the C7 came out the Corvette that everyone hated them you know the taillights weren't Corvette headlights were too flashy kind of grew on everyone and those cars look amazing. I've always thought they looked amazing, so um, they didn't really have to grow on me. They've always looked good. This truck, I don't see anything wrong with as far as the looks go. I think the grill looks cool, especially on the Denali. The lights look awesome. 
it just looked really modern. Yeah, this thing is, it, it's nice. I mean, it better be nice also if it's almost 70 grand. I mean, I think this truck was like 68 grand sticker price. And uh, this thing has 2,900 miles on it. Let me know what you guys think about these reviews. I'm not no professional, like I said, guys. I'm not trying to be uh, like a Doug DeMiro or anything like that. Uh, he's very good at what he does. That's what he does is car reviews. It's not really my thing, but if you guys do enjoy these things and want to see more of these, let me know. I'd love to review like a 2500 or 3500, something like that, but I don't know when, I, when I'd be able to get my hands on one of those. If you guys know of anyone that are getting one, would let me review it, let me know, but I highly doubt that. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this thing back to the house. I'm going to go over uh, a few more things as far as interior goes, and then we'll kind of do a walk around on the outside of the truck kind of go over some new features they, they brought in on the 2019s and uh, yeah that'll probably be it for the video so yeah I will see you guys back at the house all right guys a little overview on the outside of this thing what I thought was pretty cool and then you press this lays it down nice also, you do it on the key fob like I showed you guys earlier, and uh, it's just as easy. Also, what's pretty cool about this thing is you got you can press this button up top, that lowers that, and of course, you have this, another step to get up there. You got a grab rail right here as well. Like I said in the video before, it kind of seems like it's more catered to older guys, which, nothing wrong with that. Uh, it makes it easier to get in and out of things. Also, another thing, open this door. Get the slide out steps. Another cool thing I thought, of course, if you didn't have a tonneau cover like this, um, this is, if you just had an open bed, you wanted to get into your bed a little easier, do this. That way you got clearance to you know, go up here. Um, you know, just small things like that. Some people may not care about that stuff. That's fine. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Another cool thing about this thing, this is also a compartment right there. Under the seats, there's also some decent storage under the seats, which they seem to ignore in the previous generations. Um, there's actually like little bucket storage there. This is what I was talking about, AC right here. You got heated seats in the rear. You got your DC outlet here. You also have USB, USB-C, and cup holders right here. You got your middle center console right there. I think also has cup holders. And then, yep, looks like my truck. And then you got the other storage area on the other side of the seat. And yeah, I just think it was really th well thought of. And uh, I think the previous generations, the one before this one, I think left out a lot of things. And they were smart enough to bring it right back. They may have been small things, but a lot of people noticed it. And uh, good thing GM listened because I think it was a good move. What else? Um, of course, these things come with 22s, the Denali's. Just kind of standard, looks to be very similar to the previous one like I already mentioned. But, you know, I can't say anything bad about it. Everything seems to be in the right place. Very easy to use. Um, your sun roof here. I do this on the fly here, but here's another thing that people didn't like, and I don't really understand why. Um, and that's the, the front end of this thing. Now, I get it for some people, it might be too flashy. You know, I'm not a big chrome guy, but personally, I think... The front end of this thing looks awesome. Now the mirrors are questionable. I don't know if I like the look of them. I don't think I really like the look of them. But they are very functional. And like I said, in the vehicle, there seems to be, they seem to be placed there for uh, blind spots, or at least to make it better. Uh, but yeah, you, of course you got your front facing camera right here, trying to maneuver in a tight parking spot. Of course you got all the sensors. Like if I'm being honest, I don't have anything bad to say. There's some cons to every vehicle, I think. You know, if I could change one thing about this thing, it would be the mirrors. I'm not gonna not buy the truck because of that. Different story for the 2500s. I think those look horrible. I haven't seen them in person, but I can tell just by the video they're awful. So <laughs> uh, hopefully we can get one of those in person. Maybe it'll change my mind, maybe it won't. That's just my opinion, guys. If you guys have your opinion, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of these trucks. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for this one. It's actually about to start raining. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was my first shot at a true review on a newer vehicle. I don't really get many opportunities to do reviews on new vehicles unless I, you know, go to like a, a dealership or something. I've never done that, but I was lucky enough that my dad's friend was in town and he had this truck and he was nice enough to let me use it. So I want to say thank you to him. If you guys are new to the channel and you enjoyed this kind of review, 
please hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like. Let me know in the comments how you feel about these trucks. If you have one of these trucks, um, you know, just let me know. I'd love to hear what you guys think. But, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.